Well, Memorial Day is the unofficial start of summer, and it's almost here. Can't wait. Yes. Yes. It, we better have nice weather. Yeah, right. <laughs> but we'll get to that in a moment. But that means the campgrounds around Southwest Virginia will be starting to fill up. Absolutely. Roanoke-based Silver Tears Campers builds a classic camper that's making a comeback, and it's built right here in the Blue Ridge. Teardrop campers were popular after World War II because they were easy to build and lightweight. But when the interstate highway system was founded, people turned to larger campers and RVs. Now teardrops are returning to favor. Because of their aerodynamic design, the car pulling them uses less gas. They only sleep two, and their fuel economy is amazing because the low profile, you have a lot less wind drag. Davis built the first one for himself, not wanting to deal with the hassle of setting up camp. I got tired of setting up tent, food, two kids. I wanted to get on the trails and trail ride when we go to Land River meets. The next one he built was for Orvis. After that, things took off, building more and more so, each year. This this is our camper. This is this is strictly for camping. But what kind of makes it unique is it's only around 800 pounds, and the body we actually make in our metal shop, and one person can pick the body up. Bring it across the street to our chassis and marry the two together with one hand, which is kind of neat. It's got a ton of storage space in it. It's got storage in the front and the rear and a full galley uh, in the back that is set up for grill, wash station, prep station. You got just about everything you need right here. You just need something to tow it with. Prices range from about $13,000 for a basic model to $50,000 or more, depending on how you want to customize it. Customizations that include a camper for hunting and one for tailgating. The tailgater is their most popular version. It's good for events or tailgating at ball games. It's easy to set up and it's easy to tear down. Once you finish your event, you take everything off the bar and then you start pushing it back in, close everything up, and then you're hooking it up to the car and off to your next location. It's the specialty campers that got the company a lot of publicity, being featured in magazines like Garden and Gun, Vanity Fair, and other national publications. It even caught the attention of the Travel Channel. Uh, we had a great segment with those guys. They even took one of them to the beach and did a whole beach bikini thing with them. And yeah, that's really probably done us a lot of good. I mean, we, we're still getting mileage off that because they still run those those segments. Much of the company's business comes from outside the U.S., places like Germany and South America. They're hoping to build their business in the States by spreading the word about the original teardrop camper with Built in the Blue Ridge. Patrick McKee, WSLS 10.